Hello all, welcome back to the Cloud and Data Science. After long break, I am doing this video. In this video, we are going to see what is Microsoft Fabric and we will have a quick demo of Lakehouse creation and then we will see what is shortcut in Microsoft Fabric. And finally, we are going to create a Power BI report with the sample data using Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric is a recent product that was announced in the recent Microsoft build. It is a one-stop shop for all your data solutions. It is all-in-one for analytical solutions. It provides end-to-end -end solution for our business needs. It integrates various components like Data Factory, Azure Synapse, Power BI, and also it will be able to provide access to the data in the other cloud environments like AWS and GCP by using the simple shortcuts. As we can see in the screen here, there are features like we can create a lake house, we can create notebook, we can create spark jobs, we can create data factory, or we can create data pipeline, we can create data science models, and experiments, notebooks, we can create warehouse, we can create Power BI report or streaming data set, and we can also perform real-time data analytics. And uh, there is a new feature called Data Activator to monitor the data. This is Power BI workspace. In Power BI workspace, we can able to create all these new components. So it provides unified interface for various data integration components. So we need not to worry about infrastructure setup or cluster creation and uh, CPU or storage configuration. This is a software as a service solution. Simply we have to spin up the fabric and uh, we can able to create the any of the uh, pipeline or lake house and it provides data in the open delta format in the one lake. So that one lake is a one place for all the data for in your organization. Either you can create, as you can see here, this is a, this provides one lake. It is nothing but a one place for all the data across the organization. So we can use the same data, same copy, one copy of the data for data engineering in the Synapse or Data Factory or in the data science experiments or for the Power BI reports. So we need not to maintain multiple copies. As you know, many organizations have data, many data silos, but that is the a problem currently most of many of the organizations are facing, uh, maintaining multiple copies of the data. And this provides, Fabric provides one leg solution and it stores the data in the open Delta Park format. And we can also easily access the data by creating the shortcut from other cloud providers. We need not to ingest the data or move the data. And as you can see here, uh, it provides serverless compute. So we need not to configure any compute. Once we have the service in the behind the scenes, it will create the compute and we can have one security model across the fabric, all the components. When we create a, one lake, there are options like it creates warehouse, lake house, and data set. Let us see how to create this lake house. So here, once we click on this lake house, unable to create lake house, only 10 items can be opened at one time on the left navigation bar, close an item and try okay so we have to open the left navigation bar and then we can only so let us close this one let us close these items and then we will be able to create this one let us try now right now we close that one lake house so here what we will do is uh, demo lake house right click on create 
now it is creating the lake house behind the scenes right so this is the explorer and here we can able to see upload the files and we can convert that to delta table also uh, for example here we can upload the file any parquet file or any csv file or json file right i have already uploaded the file and created the lake house let us go here see i have created the lake house right in the same manner and i uploaded the files see this is the parquet file in the parquet file we can simply convert this parquet file to load into the delta table this is the delta table i have loaded the data from the parquet file i have uploaded that parquet file from my local system but you can also upload that parquet file uh, by creating the shortcut you can access the data from the blob storage right see this is the data that i have uploaded in the parquet file i was talking about the shortcut right here we can create the shortcut to the data in the blob storage or in the aws s3 bar and then you can access the data we will see in the next video how to create a shortcut and how to access the data from the blob storage okay now this is the file parquet file we are able to see the data and it is one leg uh, we can access this data in all the data engineering experiment and data science experiments right now we can also create the power bi report using this data so let us go to the workspace and here i already created this report right uh, for the same data by see this is the report for the parquet file data that i have uploaded into the one lake house okay so this is all one interface we need not to switch multiple interfaces and we need not to spin up multiple clusters uh, and we need not to learn multiple uh, uh, user interface navigation uh, in multiple components right so it provides unified interface for multiple data engineering and data science and uh, uh, reporting components and it is simply a software as a service solution and we need not to worry about cluster or hardware cpu configurations right and it provides centralized security across this fabric right so uh yeah to summarize microsoft fabric is all in one analytics solution and it integrates various components like data factory pipelines data azure synapse and uh, data um, Uh, reporting tools like power bi and also it is a one lake where it stores the data in the open delta lake parquet format and it also provides features to access the data from other cloud providers simply by creating the shortcut uh, and it also provides new feature like data activator to trigger monitor the data and to trigger the alerts so try it out it is i can say it is a game changer in the data world and really it provides uh, various features like we can also in, import the data directly using the lake mode into the power bi report uh, thanks for watching in the next video we will see the demo to create the uh, shortcut for the data in the blob storage until then bye bye